on her mother. Yes. But Miss Hazel, we are so glad to have you with us here tonight. Thank you very much, Mom. God bless you. God bless you. Now, I hope they're turning you up loud enough so everybody can hear because you've got a lot you can talk about. Let's start off with that song that your daughter just sang, Who Am I? What does that mean to you? Well, my life is so, such a lengthy one that I don't know where to start. Yes. But I ask myself the very question sometimes when I talk to myself according to life, because life is something that it go down and it come up, it, and then it spread out again and it shrink up again. And many times I say, more than once, I say, Lord, I thank you so much for what you have done for me. But what have I done to you so that you can do so much for me? Who am I? Who am I? So she probably should get that word from, that word from me. Yes. That she chose this song, Who Am I? Yes. In the sight of God. Mm -hmm. Now you're originally from Jamaica. From Jamaica. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I was, my, my father, was a young man that he decided to travel out. Mm -hmm. Left his parents and he traveled to, the, to Panama. Mm -hmm. And while he was in Panama there, this work opened. I don't know what is the work, but it's a, a canal that they were building. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. was able to work there. He worked there until it shut down a little and he returned to Jamaica. And when he returned to Jamaica, while he was there, you know, it opened again and he went back there and he worked. And at that time, my mother and him, they were engaged, you know, and he was working to get money mm -hmm. to see if they could settle down. And, uh, you know, life went on. He came home. And after he came home, he married. Uh-huh. And, and then he started he the family? And, yeah. mm -hmm. and he started the family. Okay. You know? And so uh, you lived in Jamaica now for a while, and then you married and then moved to Cuba? Yes. My, I well, was actually, if I, may, my if, father, I may, if I may, if I may um, say know. that, she actually got married in Cuba because she went to Cuba yes, when she was yes. about, what, seven, Mom? Yes, after, mm -hmm. the, after the canal was finished, mm -hmm. my father decided that he would not travel out except, you know, he knew something about the country. And uh, he heard about Cuba, yeah. so he decided. And he told my mommy that he was going to Cuba. Oh. So, so you were seven years old when mm -hmm. you moved to Cuba. So mm -hmm. he went to Cuba. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And when he went to Cuba, at that time, you know, my mother was well, they were engaged and everything and after he was there he decided he had to take us up because he's not going to go back to Jamaica to settle right, right. so he took he took us mama and myself and my little sister I was eight years old that was in 1923 oh, yes. <laughs> yes. 1923 he took me up I was eight and my little sister was five years old. Oh. Two little girls. So you went to school in Cuba uh -huh. and then was a teenager and then yes. and then you met somebody there. I grew up in Cuba and while I <clears throat> while I was in Cuba, you know, well if my father over many years he struggled so much through over life, he decided that he would return back, you know, to Jamaica. But but tell about Time the went on so <laughs> long until I met this gentleman. Uh huh. At, at least one Sunday, I just remember now. A Sunday, my papa was, mama was in the kitchen cooking, and papa was out in the field that day. We were looking around the animals and thing, and he settled them down and he came in. And when he came in, he went and he had his bath and he took a chair and sat outside and lean on the house and took his Bible. And my father is a man that he never liked to read Bible to that. Oh. And when he take the Bible, he read a psalm and he close it and put it down. He always liked to get around and play his accordion. Uh-huh, you know? yes. So this Sunday evening, 
Papa went out and he took his Bible and he sat there and, and he read. Mama was in the kitchen cooking dinner and he called out, he says, her name is Letitia, but he called her Letty. Uh -huh. He says, Letty, which day you call Sabbath? Mm -hmm. Oh, my father, my mother says, it's Saturday. He says, true. He says, mm -hmm. yes, Saturday. He says, oh, mm -hmm. you know, those people, those Seventh-day Adventists, you know, they are right. Yes. But tell so, mom, I know you want to tell about that. I know you want to tell about that. But she really wants you to tell about your husband, that first husband, the one that you f fell so madly in love with. That's what she really wants to hear about. Tell her about that, that story. <laughs> yes. That one. When he came okay. to see you. Well, I was, um, we were in Cuba. I, at least, she took, she, Papa took us up to Cuba when I was eight years yeah. old. Mm -hmm. And there I grew up. Right. All my days until right. I reached, uh, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a, a, an adult mm -hmm. then. Uh -huh. And one day, I think, was a person, oh my, my, there was sickness in the home and, and I had to do a lot of things. Mama was sick and, uh -huh. and little, little kids around me and I myself fell sick with Tommy. Mm. And I think life is so hard. It's time for me to think about, you know, and then there were other young people around that. And I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, please send a young man to, to and me. <laughs> so happened, not wasn't long ago. My church elder told me that he had something to say to me, but he didn't have the time. He was very busy. And he came one day and he said, the gentleman that he told me about, he wanted to visit the church. Uh -huh. So it was. So that's how that happened. Uh huh. Okay. He All visited right. the church. Mm -hmm. So let's move on forward mm -hmm. now because you became a worker in the church and, and you loved young people. Tell us about what you did in, the, in oh, your Christian walk. Well, I was a Sunday school teacher. Yes. I teach the children mm -hmm. and I take classes, baptismal classes. I did it with them. I sung on the choir with the, in the church. That's mm -hmm. where Hannah got her music, love for music. <laughs> I, I was, was on a the singer choir yourself. always yeah. and I always teach the children their little songs and uh -huh. such like. Very active. And Sunday evening we would go out and visit neighbors. Yes. You know. And and have service with them. Mm -hmm. When we go out, we'd have service. And now there is a, a lady right in Mapen Town. Mm -hmm. When we used to have Sabbath school up Delmar Road, this lady is there now, a Seventh day Adventist, asking for me all the time. Yeah. Because true, she's in the church because of me. Uh -huh. Because I used to. Mentor her, her, you know, yes. yeah, mentor and her. Mm -hmm. she was baptized. Now, yes. how, did, how did you come about with this book right here? How did you decide that you wanted to write a book? My, my dear lady, <laughs> <laughs> the story is so long. One day I Make it short. It. Make it when short. I think about mm -hmm. life where I was coming from and all that the Lord has done for me as I hear this song, dear now, I said, Lord, who am I? What am I? I can't see myself fit for the Lord to use me in such a way. The people was just, when, I, when we go up to the hospitals on such Sunday evening or Saturday evening to, to visit the hospital, the people were just, because we always go there and we'll have meetings with them right. and the people enjoy. Mm -hmm. Somebody cared and, for them. Mm -hmm. And more than one person mm -hmm. was converted because of Amen. my... Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But because tell about the so book, So you Mom. decided then mm -hmm. that you would sit down and write your story. And all those things, when I remember them, I remember everything that I can remember when I'm writing. Yes. I put it in that and book. And you put the dates. And how old were you when you wrote this book? This book? Um, 
Well, this book really is not the is not the the original is not the, the first original. One? Okay. The old book, you know, I write little 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 uh -huh. copies. Every time an incident, I write it down. You wrote it down. And when it, it reached the place, I said, no, it's time enough for me to make a book because this is not a book. This is only an exercise book. <laughs> An exercise book. I know, exercise book. <laughs> I know little, what you're talking about. Every little exercise thing book. that happens as the days go by, whatever happened that affect me, you know, yes. that I say, wow, what this thing I could write about it, you know, and I take my pencil and I write <laughs> it, I write it in the exercise book. And oh, when I reach true. half the book, I decided, but no, this is not going to help me. I sh what I should do, I should date it that I know directly what time. When it happened. What it happened. Each one of and those experiences. I and I started to do it because one day I am going to see if I write a, a book. And when I am writing the book, I'm going to need to know which one follow the other. There you, you go. <laughs> what, what happened first, second, and third and all. Well, well how so old were you when your f uh, father passed away? Were you I was five. You, you were five? I was five when he died, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. and and so then your mother remarried? She remarried. Yes, she, soon? she remarried the uh, the uh, elder at, at our church. Oh, and, and then after um, they got married. Um, they lived for some 20 some years together and then he passed okay. and uh, subsequently my sister and I decided that uh, we would have mom come and uh, stay with us. Yes. So during that time mom started writing you know the book my sister Esther encouraged her a lot uh -huh. and um, we were getting ready to celebrate her 100th birthday and oh. my sister and I said you know what it would be good to have mom's book as yes. you know uh, um, um, memorial for right, this memorial occasion for, for this occasion mm -hmm. and so we took her manuscript her handwriting right. and we actually typed it all out and then we of course got the publishers mm -hmm. to uh, publish it and and that's the end product right there so she that was so like good. 190 89 I she mean, was, 98, she was she, it took when her she five years from the first time she actually started writing that'd be so probably 95 about 95 <laughs> exactly <laughs> because um, um, her years. book was actually unveiled on her 100th yeah. birthday How celebration. About that? That's Ooh, great. That is wonderful. That is so yes, wonderful. yes, yes. That My so goodness, good. if I can write a book at 95, yeah. I think I will <laughs> die. Go well, so I'm going to tell you folks out there what I already told her when I saw her come in the door yeah. uh, uh, mm -hmm. tonight, Pat. And I looked at her face and I saw how beautiful she was. No wrinkles. I can't see uh, any wrinkles uh, on her face. And uh, uh, I'm telling you, she's just a picture of health. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, Miss Hazel? I'm going to take a picture of you tonight and I'm going to uh, tape it up on my bathroom mirror. And every morning I'm going to say, there's Miss Hazel. She's 101. <laughs> and she is still alive and well and in your right mind yes mom i i work a lot you know to, to, to help my children i work a lot after the death after the death of my husband in cuba and i had to go back to jump to to jamaica i i work in a children's home yes, the Anglican church they had a children's home right they were they, they their their number the number of children that they were permitted to have uh -huh. was 25 children uh -huh. and i work in that home they took me for for to work i started working two days a week uh -huh. monday wow. and tuesday that was yes. saint monica's children's home saint yeah. monica's for children's abused home and orphanage children uh -huh. mm -hmm. i worked there work with them for two days per day Monday and Tuesday, yes. mm -hmm. and the people love me so much. They had started to give me clothes to so sew. Not <laughs> only I went there to help the the, the laundress yeah. to uh -huh. get out the clothes. Two days, Monday and Tuesday, right. and after they find out that I could sew, they get me to sew for them. 
Yeah. And I went in and so for them, my dear. And that thing grow, yeah. you know, you improve. You've done so many things in your yes, life. Yes, you So You've done many a lot. things, yes. my you dear. Have. I thank the Lord. He has been so that good to me. I reach, I, I work until I was assistant superintendent, right. improving yes. all the time. Yes. yes. Hannah, yeah. summarize up in just a, uh, we got just a minute left. Okay. And uh, summarize up what Miss Hazel's doing and, and and, uh, where, and they can get in touch with you? Well, certainly, uh, they certainly can. Uh, they can call. Uh, telephone number is 754-242-4563. Or they can send an email, hej213us at yahoo.com. Great. Yes. We would love to hear from them. And our wonderful. prayer partners have their information. If you would like to have Hannah, now Hannah is, got, is in ministry of her own. She travels all over the place mm -hmm. speaking and singing. Her mother would be an asset to you also. So you can call tonight in the prayer line in the morning whenever you hear it. And we'll, I know they would.